What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see, we're back up inside the 2015 Dodge Dart. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the steering wheel in these cars. So this steering wheel, as you can see right here, has a little bit of damage to the leather. And as far as I'm aware, this is a little bit too bad to be repaired. So we're going to be removing this steering wheel and replacing it with a brand new OEM one from Dodge. I'm going to show you how to remove the airbag and swap over all of these bezels and pieces that are here that do not come with a new wheel for this car. So I'm going to get jumping right in here. We're going to start by taking out the airbag. And to do that, we're going to have to remove these little plastic covers on the back piece here get those popped out and there are 10 millimeter bolts behind each one of those. We're just gonna remove those, loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts and this whole center airbag piece here will come right out and we'll be able to get to the bolt holding the steering wheel onto the column after that. And using a steering wheel puller, we'll be able to remove it from the car. So let's jump right in and start removing that airbag. So before doing any of this work or any work on airbags, as you guys know, we're going to have to disconnect the battery. I've already done that here and I've let it discharge for about a half hour already. So we should be good. We don't want any accidental deployments of any airbags in the car. These cars have lots of airbags, two up front here, two knee bolsters. Uh, there's airbags in the seats themselves, as well as curtain airbags on either side and seats, um, airbags in the back seat as well so we don't want anything getting tripped off or deployed so it's always best practice to disconnect the battery many many minutes in advance to doing any work where you're going to be disconnecting or working near or around airbags. So here you guys can see behind the airbag, we're going to have to remove these three yellow connectors here by removing the center orange locking tab first. Then those should pop right off. See we got one there and two down bottom here for the airbag. Now after that we're going to have to remove this black connector up here on the top of the airbag which is for the horn. I'm going to do these off camera because this is going to take two hands, one to hold this airbag which has some pretty good weight to it, make sure I don't damage anything, and one to actually use the pick tools to get these removed. So I'll join you back once we get these removed from the airbag and get the airbag out of the wheel. So there you have it, the airbag is removed, came out relatively easily, those plugs aren't too difficult to work with. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to slide right in here and remove this connector from the clock spring. This is the connector that feeds the whole harness for all of these buttons and switches in the wheel for the volume controls on the back and all these uh, controls for the center instrument cluster up here. So that's disconnected. Now we're going to get in here with whatever size nut this is, remove this, get that out of the way. And I'm not sure if this wheel uses a steering wheel puller or if it just comes right off because I don't see anywhere that you can screw into with a standard puller. So we're going to have to figure out how that comes off and I will see you guys once we figure that out and we'll get the wheel removed from the car. Alrighty guys, so we got this nut loosened up. I'm just going to keep unthreading it the rest of the way. Once you get that off... You can just pull the wheel right off. This wheel isn't pressed onto the splines or anything. It just literally slides right off. Just wiggle it a bit and it comes off. When you do remove it though, be sure that you keep track of where the little notch right here on the column is. 
and this dot on the wheel. Those have to line up in order for the wheel to be aligned properly when you put it back on, as well as for your steering angle sensor that's in the column. If it's off, it's going to throw a check engine light, and that's going to be a fun time to get reset. Um, it also does it when you disconnect the battery in these cars every now and then. It'll throw a, a weird code, and you'll have to do a procedure to reset the angle sensor that's in the column so the engine light goes out. But so now we got this wheel off, now we can move on to installing the new one, getting all these wires fed back through the new one, and get it bolted back on, and swapping over all these plastics. So here it is guys, there's the brand new steering wheel from Dodge. I did misspeak earlier in the video saying that these button clusters here on either side of the wheel were not included with new wheels. That is what they told me when I purchased this, but as we can see here, it does in fact come with them. It comes with all the wiring harnesses and everything built into it already. So this is ready to just slap in and be good to go. So guys, when you go to put this back together, if you need to remember which airbag plug goes in which port, they are color-coded, so the green teal colored plug goes in the green teal colored port, the yellow goes in the yellow, and then the black goes in this little device right up here. I think this is some sort of inflator or charge holder, I'm not sure, but that's where they go. So black to black, yellow to yellow, and teal blue green to teal blue green right there. And then this fourth little tiny plug is for the horn, and that plug is in right here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and bolt in the two 10 millimeter bolts in the back side of the steering wheel, and then this will be good to go.
last step after we've removed and replaced the steering wheel and done any work with airbags, like I said before, we want to make sure everything's connected up properly in the car and then we can reconnect the battery. Make sure this is on here and tighten down properly and then we are good to go. So guys, that is gonna be the end of today's video. If you found this video helpful or interesting, or if you have anybody else that you know that might, please feel free to like this video, drop some comments down below, share the video, and subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more things coming for this dart in the future as we get the rest of this project wrapped up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have an awesome rest of your day.